無我の境地立てい走行のオンそれよっジャッジメントはい、everyone。I just got C6 Traveler, but I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. I thought her Constellation 6 will make a significant improvement on charging Yola's burst, but it does almost nothing. Anyway, the Electro Traveler is still the best Yola charger in the game, and I will show you some comparison. Throughout this video, I will be using the bait lab for Eula because I don't want to kill the test subject. My Eula will be using a standard pale flame set, C0, and a talent level 8. Next is the Traveler. She has 265 energy recharge, sacrificial sword, and copium artifacts, C6, and a talent level 8. Raiden is a 269 energy recharge and I will be using Prototype Star Glitter. Prototype Star Glitter has the same energy recharge as the catch, but consider this as me using the catch. The catch does more damage than Star Glitter, but this is not a damage showcase. Again, it's energy recharge showcase. She will be using Copium Artifacts, C0, and at Talent Level 8. First test is solo without any teammates. Only Yula and her charger versus Primo G V Shop and without a shield. Because in real battle scenario, we have to dodge. Some enemies can one shot us. So let's take into consideration the dodging mechanics. There are no punching bug enemies in the abyss, but testing this in the abyss is very inaccurate because of the ley line disorder. So I think that Primo J Bishop is the perfect test subject for this comparison. Then I noticed something. Traveler's elemental burst did almost nothing in charging Eula's energy. So in the next experiment, I will be spamming her elemental skill as much as possible. Check Eula's energy gauge in this footage. With this, I concluded that C6 Traveler is not needed at all. Only C1 is enough. C6 gives massive boost in damage but if you want damage, there's our Captain Beidou who does a better job in off-field burst support. Again, C6 Traveler is not worth it at all. Don't speedrun the Electroc loose. Don't be like me, who did spend a whole day speedrunning the Electroc loose just to see myself disappointed by the results. The next experiment will be a full team support. Bennett will be here for emergency healing. Diona will be the other member for a shield and additional cryo energy particles. Diona will be using a sacrificial bow and Bennett will be using a level 1 sword. I don't want to buff Yula so strong that she will not be able to complete 4 burst rotation. And I will be removing some of Raiden's stats here because she contributes a lot of damage. Again, 
Yola might not be able to complete a four burst rotation if the J Bishop died so early. The Electro Traveler Elemental Skill Spam is the best charger for Yula. Also, Raiden takes away some screen time from Yula and shows her amazing Bubasaur skills. But what about fully built Raiden? Can they beat Yula? I think no, and I think it's not practical. Because a fully buffed Yula burst will consume most of the team buff duration, such as Bennett and Thrilling Tail, and by the time Raiden shows her Bubasaur, the team buff is gone, so Raiden will be doing lesser damage in her burst. Compared to the Electro Traveler, with a little bit of practice, Yula can almost have her energy full even before the cooldown is finished. So Raiden as energy recharge for Yula is a no-go for me. Raiden is a non-field enabler for off-field burst support like Child and Xiangling combo. In the case of Raiden, She'll be a DPS and energy battery at the same time. Raiden is better off as a captain of the team. So again, have your Traveler built for your Eula because the Traveler is one of the best charger in the game despite its not so amazing elemental burst. Like and subscribe if you learned something from this. I will be posting special videos like this, facts that are not so talked about in the game. I'm also working towards the perfect balance of stats for Raiden. So please check my other videos as well about how this perfect balance of stats works.